Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. All right, today we're going to walk through a common optics problem that you are likely to see on the MCAT using Snell's Law. Let's set the scene here with the problem. A person is looking at an object in the air, and the angle of incidence is 45 degrees. The index of refraction of the aqueous humor, the fluid in the front of the part of the eye, is 1.336, and the index of refraction of the virtuous humor, the fluid in the back of the eye, is 1.76. What is the angle of refraction when the light passes through the boundary between the air and aqueous humor? Take a few moments and try and solve this on your own. I'll give you a hint. First, draw out the problem. Draw out the angles. It'll make this a lot easier to solve. Remember, Snell's law is just n1 times sine theta1 equals n2 times say the 2. Good luck. I'll see you in a few moments. All right, and welcome back. So I'll show you first what I drew. So this looks a little crazy at first. So let me explain what's going on. So in green here, I have the initial light coming into the eye at a 45 degree angle. We know that the air has an index of refraction of one. So I made this my N1, because that's where we're starting from. And we know that we're going to hit the aqueous humor first. So this is has an index of refraction of roughly 1.3. Next, we know that the incidence of the light is coming in at 45 degrees. So we've got our angle as well. So all we have to solve for is our theta 2. So let's set up that equation. So we know that n1 times sine theta 1 equals n2 times sine theta 2. Our n1 is 1 times the sine of 45 degrees equals n2, which we know is 1.3, times the sine of x. We're trying to solve x, or theta 2. So if we solve this, we see that the angle of refraction is going to be 41.18 degrees. And this is the answer to our solution. So the angle of refraction when the light passes through the boundary between the air and aqueous humor is 41.18 degrees. This problem illustrates how Snell's law can be used to understand the refraction of light as it passes through the different media of the human eye, such as the aqueous humor. It also shows how the indices of refraction and the angles of incidence and refraction can affect the behavior of light in the eye and how this can impact vision. Thank you so much for watching our guided example video on Snell's Law, and I'll see you next time.